Hey guys, welcome to our new vlog. I'm Teresa. And I'm Nash. And today we are taking you to a Prague park called Grebovka or Havlíčkovy Sady, which is inspired by Italian Renaissance, I think. Yeah. And uh, it's really beautiful architecture and it's one of the unique places you need to visit in Prague. Yeah, after that you're gonna grab some coffee in a new cafe, which is a new concept where it's made from flowers. It's so beautiful. I saw it on Instagram and I really wanted to visit this. And it's the best place to visit in fall now because I think they have like pumpkins and beautiful decorations. Yeah. So the first stop is Havlicek Gardens. The whole park is inspired by Italian Renaissance with entry being free. The gardens and the estate were established by a factory owner called Moritz Grobe in 1870. As you enter the main entrance, you'll find a cute cafe where you can get some refreshments and also local Czech drinks including Burchard which is young fermented wine. Then in the middle of the park is Villa Grobe which is where Moritz used as his summer residence. And then surrounding it, you have the beautiful park, which is just spectacular in summertime. As you explore the park, you will come across our favorite part, which is the grotto. Italian style but what I don't like is the people here like there's someone sitting on the back on the balcony drinking smoking kind of ruining the view and then you have the dancing part someone is practicing some dance I mean I'm not really a hater but <laughs> you have a whole park to be dancing yeah you have a whole park why to do it here in the main country so we couldn't really get a nice like super picture or get the atmosphere in I don't think this is an like atmosphere which is supposed to be. Mm. Yeah, that's so a bit of turn off. If it's one of you guys watching this, stop it, please. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop it. it. <laughs> Go yeah, play there, on the other side a whole of the park. park to do these things. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it's really beautiful. Like it's I so really love it. It's beautiful, but you, you can you can sort of like exclude them <laughs> from the view. Yeah. So it's a bit hard. Yeah. I absolutely love this fountain, apart from the music which is annoying me, otherwise it's beautiful with the fountain in the middle, it's really Italian-like, you can see like the Italian inspiration. If you think of the Trevi fountain in Rome, this is almost giving you that vibe and then you have the big buildings in the back which also look pretty epic. The cool thing is you are able to climb into these crevices and sort of have a mini adventure. You have chairs in this dark room and you can just keep going up and up. Hello, Teresa. In the kids' chaos corner? Yes, so many kids. <laughs> And they love it. Yeah, you have to be careful here because there are so many older kids and they are quite violent. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be ready to, <laughs> to stop them. You don't want to go to hospital with your kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's an nice playing park, actually. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. And she's having fun, isn't she? Yeah, let me uh... <laughs> Quite a lot of playing, guys. 
got a lot of melon playing. You ready for coffee? Yes, let's go. Let's go, go coffee. Yeah. Teresa, someone claims to be a gelato tour winner. That means you need to find out. So I got an ice cream for 55 crown. Let's see if it's gonna be as good as they claim it's gonna be. Ooh, that is pretty creamy. Um, it could be more chocolatey, like more thick, but that's good. I can see why they won the Gelato World Tour 2017. It's pretty good. It's called Puro, and it's right opposite the garden which we're in. All right, good. Mm. Oh yeah, they also have like, some really cute cakes. So if you are going to the garden, on the entrance, make sure you also just pop into the ice cream shop here. Yeah. Nice! amazing it's beautiful I love how there's like different variety of plants and because we are now in autumn they have like pumpkins and everything's like an autumn color autumn vibes and I love the lights which are on the top so this is really really good you really must visit here so I got flat white so what you do is you order your drink they give you a ticket you wait they call you and then you get your drink which is a flat white so I'm just gonna grab that now whoa that's nice that is nice um, it's not as acidic as I normally prefer, but it's a good quality coffee and because it's flat white, it's got quite a bit of a kick to it. And it's fresh coffee beans, it's nice milk, it's perfect. Nice one. a cute little coffee place and you can also buy the flowers to take home so right next to it there's a coffee shop which is obviously providing flowers so here you can take your flowers and go with them so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you leave us a like comment and subscribe because we're going to be doing more videos about prague about czech republic see you later bye